All right, folks, this is Bhav Tripathi with Digital Sparks Marketing. And as you guys know, I love talking to industry leaders, people who have been in the trenches in all areas of digital marketing. And today I have a special guest, Topher Cohen. Topher Cohen has been a long time SEO, if I may add. Uh, we go back a long way when he was at CNN and I think at Atlanta Business yep. before that. And now he's with uh, Weather Channel and IBM Business. So Tofu, welcome. Thank you, thanks for having me. So can you talk a little bit about what you do currently at uh, Weather Channel and IBM? And yeah, sure, yeah. so I work for um, the weather company. We own the digital side of weather, okay. which is an IBM business. So weather.com, Weather Underground, um, and th those pages, and I run the SEO and the growth for them. Okay. So I not only help grow our business and our user base via traditional organic marketing, yeah. but I also look outside the box and yeah. also build for um, just traditional growth via social, via paid, via across the thing. I work with our with our paid media team, our paid social team, and those teams kind of bring synergy to the whole thing. Got it. To because it's you can't just do organic. Weather is a pretty commoditized data. Yeah. So I and look at the bigger picture, just bring people in and try to give them the best experience. Nice. So you've been at it as you so long. What have you seen in the evolution? Because we still see the same questions that we used to see 12, 15 years back. What, according to you, has been the biggest change over the years? So it's that joke that the more things change, the more things stay the same. Because when I first started doing this for a living, technical SEO was everything. Right. If you were a technical SEO, you owned the world. And then it ebbed away that it was content was king. Yeah. Just write good content, the engines would figure it out. Which is still true, you gotta write good content, you gotta create that good content, but we've ebbed back to Technical SEO rules the world. It's all about making sure you have the right semantic markup to own the zero spot. No more 10 blue links. How do you get into the AMP carousel? How do you get into the, the feature story carousel? How do you rank in Google News now? It's, it's a, all about that technical aspect, taking it to the next level and knowing that I can't just write good content. Right. I have to, but I, just don't, I have to do all the other things. It's that synergy, right. which I don't think it's been there before. It was either technical or content. Right. And now that synergy is there where you got to have it all. Nice. So you're saying the on page, there is still value in doing some on page optimization stuff? All day long. All, all day, day long. long. Yeah, okay. yeah, 100%. So you're looking at what? The title, meta yeah. tag? Absolutely. I'm, I'm look, looking at not only the title and the meta and the content, make sure the inverted pyramid's in the right place and yeah. we got the good anchor links yeah. happening because we want to make sure the, the internal link is right. But I want to make sure on the back end of that, yeah. that, that the, the code is written in a way. And, and, and now with JavaScript being such the big thing, that it's also rendered in the right way that the crawler can get it on the first time and not have to worry about it. Right, right. Yeah, I remember back in the day, the this JavaScript pop-up yep. and things yep. like exactly, that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So now the other part of it, as you mentioned, is links, right? Yeah. So what is the link acquisition strategy that people are adopting, or rather people should adopt these days? So believe it or not, I think that obviously all the traditional uh, white hat link strategies still work 100%. Right. But the way, I, I don't think enough people are putting enough value in things like social media influencers right. and gaining link acquisition through them. Right. They're such a great situation, it's such a big deal, and if you can gain that, gain that acquisition that way, then you have an ongoing link building process right. with, those, with those. And I think that's, that's a, uh, an untapped market, especially if you're dealing with a product brand if right. you're a product brand, I don't care if you sell anything, but if you're a brand that has a product that, that, that is consumer facing, yeah. it's the way to go. Nice. So, the whole thing about B quality, focus on few links, but the whole influencer side of it, right. there's a big permeating from the social side into the organic SEO. Exactly, right? 100%. Nice. 100%. And it's just, it's just, I think a lot of people aren't paying attention to it. Right. So. Now, the other thing I've seen with link building is you see this specialized like lawyers, accountants, and there are these big companies who have this linked network. Yeah. How's, how are they right now? Like, So, uh, as long as they're organic, yeah. the link text is, is, is well written, yeah. and, the, and the links are, li are linking correctly, yeah. meaning I'm not saying I'm gonna link to a page about uh, personal injury law, yeah. and I'm really linking to a page about uh, business law, right? right? right. Uh, yeah, as long as that's all there, then those still work. Yeah. You know, it's still one link, one vote. Right, right. Now, every vote does not have the same weight, we right. know that, but it's still one link, one vote. Right. As long as you're setting it up and you are, and, you, and, and I think 
I personally believe that Google's looking for that synergy. Right. They're looking for that, is everybody linking back? Is, is there a synergy between the pages? Right. And I think that, that's how, that's why and how it's still working. Right, right, right. So we, we covered on page, we covered link building. Yeah. The other thing you mentioned is, is going back to technical settings yeah. and that's beyond just redirects, 301, blah, exactly. blah, blah. What technical settings or technical things people should be looking for when, with SEO? Semantic markup. Se semantic, semantic markup, markup yeah. semantic markup. You've known me long enough. I was preaching semantic markup in 2009. Yeah. Now it's the real deal. If you want to be in a knowledge graph, if you want to have that zero placement, right? On top of that, doing AMP. Yeah. SEOs can talk bad about AMP all they want, yeah. but it's fast, it's quick, and, and you get you in that carousel on mobile web, yeah. especially if you're a publisher. Right. Right. But, but now it's expanding beyond that. But that's my two things. L look at AMP and look at semantic markup. So when you look at like people also ask, right, the PAAs, uh -huh. how critical are those? Because I see some amazing value in there. Oh, they're great because that can compel that second click. Okay. That can compel that second search query right. that could, in some situations, and pretty dramatically grow your yeah. search referrals yeah. if you're also capturing those. Right. You know, if, if, we, if we know that people are looking for A, yeah. why not try to capture B, C, and D also? Right, right. And I think, I think that's a good point, that people aren't paying enough attention to that because they're really focused on capturing A. Right. And right. owning A. Right. And they should own A, but why not try to own B and C also? Right, right. So, content, engagement, videos. Right. How critical are those now? Video is everything. 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 Yeah, with, 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 with the correct markup, yeah. especially now that you can do on-page, um, uh, closed captioning and transcripts yeah. and not have it make the page look terrible. Yeah. It's not this wall of text. Yeah. Right. Now that you can do all of that, that's fantastic. Right. That really is going to put it over the edge. Video engagement is where it's at. Yeah. If it wouldn't be, we wouldn't see news sites putting a video at the top of every page. Right. 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 And YouTube being the number one search engine in the world. Right. 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 So that, that's where it's at. That's big too. Yeah, it's big. Now, you, you talk about um, in terms of SEO has gone so much to be very results driven, ROI driven. Right. What are some of the metrics that people should be measuring, you know, through SEO? Um, so I think obviously referrals is top of it, right? Yeah. But don't get caught into a trap where you are worried about whether or not it's a unique referral or not. Right, right. I don't care if it's your first time to me or your 100th yeah. time to me. If you're continuing to go back to the search engine and come to me, you're, you're still my customer. Right, right. Right, that's the key. I think that's that's a KPI that people are missing in the bigger right. picture. A lot of businesses, my business on top of it, is rightfully so obsessed with the, the monthly unique or the daily unique or the weekly unique, right? That's great, but also let's worry about the, the daily habit customer yeah. who isn't direct typing, yeah. that they, for whatever reason, are going to Google yeah. and they're typing in your brand name or your right. search query. Right, yeah. that's great, yeah, so now you see you talk like your role you've gone from SEO to growth side where yeah. you're looking at holistically how does that play in like growth marketing as we all know um, it <laughs> uh, it's scary yeah. let's be clear um, it, it, you can uh, get lost in the weeds pretty quickly yeah. but ultimately what what it does is it lets you see the bigger picture of your audience yeah. lets you understand what your audience really wants okay. really needs okay. right because if you don't have that bigger picture then your marketing aspects are too siloed, in my opinion. Right. And with them being too siloed, if one of those silos fails, there's no backup. Right. By having a holistic vision, if for us, prime example, is a weather event happens, a right. hurricane happens, right? And, it, and it, there's, there's a ramp up to start ranking organically. Well, I can backfill with social and with, and work with the paid team, work right. with the social team, work with the, the, the external marketing teams, right. and get that in there so, so we can own the audience until organic has a chance to catch hold. Right. So that's that's the key there. So I think you're, you're one of the only people in the country whenever there's a big weather event, everyone is worried, but you're the one who's happy so you can drive more traffic. I, <laughs> I say on a regular basis that my best day is usually somebody's worst day of their life. Uh, and I feel right. bad about that, but you know, I, I truly believe part of our core mission is to keep people safe, and I right. feel like that's what I'm trying to do. This is great. Anything else you want to share that yeah. I didn't ask you? No, I think you did a great job, man. Thank you, as All always. All right, great. Thank you, Topher, for Thank your you, time. Buddy. And that's Topher Cohen. Hit him up on LinkedIn and you know, chat everything about SEO, growth, and thank you for joining.